I'm Ryan with Prudential Pest Solutions, and it's June here in Pennsylvania, which means that the spotted lanternfly nymphs have hatched, and they're looking for a place on your tree and on your property. Now, this time of year, the nymphs are going to be black with white spots. And as we move closer into summer and further into summer, you'll see them transition to red with white spots. So let's look at some things that you can do and some things that we can do to protect your trees and your property from this invasive species. Now we can see here on this tree, they've used this nice uh, insect tape, and I think it's actually for flies. You can see that there's some flies on there. Um, but we can see with the bottom of the tree here that these insects, these lanternflies didn't hatch and come down. They were actually from the ground coming up. And you can see that because, you know, the top of the tape is relatively clean. The bottom of the tape is all this black stuff. That's all lanternfly. Um, nymph stages. Look at that. Now remember at this nymph stage they're black with white spots. They can't fly but they can sure hop. So this fo these folks here use the tape which was able to snag them up pretty good. And you can just see how many uh, this is the first week in June how many there are. Now you don't always have to use tape that's specific for insects if you want to catch and, and uh, bend your tree. Um, what we've done here is just showing you an example. You can just use some duct tape, um, put inside out so the sticky side is out, and then just fold it in on itself or you can put you know, a thumbtack or something um, to keep it in place. So this is a good alternative if you don't want to buy just a, a an actual insect trap to go around your tree um, because again we just want to capture them when they're coming up or when they're coming down the tree um, it doesn't have to be a specific you know kind of insect specific trap it can just be duct tape put inside out now one of the things we want to look out for when we're using any kind of sticky product on a tree is non-target capture so of course we want to capture all the lanternfly nymphs um, that can't fly that are be walking up and down your tree but what else is on your tree? Squirrels, birds, other insects. Um, the tape does not know that you're just going after lanternfly nymphs. It's gonna stick to whatever you, um, it's gonna stick whatever's on there um, to it. So what you can do is you can go to the hardware store and you can either use chicken wire. This here is half inch um, uh, hardware cloth and you can cut it obviously and wrap it around the tree as well. And this will protect and prevent other things such as um, birds, squirrels, um, and bigger mammals from getting stuck and, and uh, non-targets from getting stuck on here. But at the same time, the nymphs can easily just go um, through it um, and get stuck on the tape, which is what you want. So if you are gonna ban a tree, I would definitely recommend using um, something like hardware cloth here um, to prevent non-target um, captures on the tape. In the springtime is when we notice the nymphs coming out of the spotted lanternfly. Now there's a couple different methods that you can do as the homeowner um, to protect your home and your property from these. First is you can do with some band, what they call tree banding, which is you put a sticky tape um, around the outside of the tree, sticky side out, in order to physically capture um, as many lanternfly nymphs as you can. And there's some pros and cons with that. Um, the other option is you could do a spray. Um, either a topical spray where you're spraying the tree down with an insect a contact insecticide where the insect comes across it and it's going to be dispatched um, by the chemical or a systemic treatment which is where an insecticide is injected into the tree root system the tree soaks it up um, and then the, it's, it has protection from the inside kind of like an antibiotic with a person um, there's pros and cons with those methods as well the spot and lanternfly is an invasive insect that's not going anywhere anytime soon all right, it set its roots in Pennsylvania, especially southeast Pennsylvania, where we are, um, in Chester County, Berks County, and some of the other quarantine zones. So the more lanternflies that you can attack and capture and kill now, the less you'll have to deal with this coming late summer and fall when they turn into adults and they become a bigger nuisance that so they start attacking and causing damage to crops and trees. But for next year, because you figure how many eggs do those lanternflies lay, um, any lanternfly that you kill now in the spring and summer is going to be less you're going to have to deal with fall, winter, and then next year. Um, so if you want to look at more of our videos on the spot on lanternfly, I'll have some links below. I'll also have links to the Department of Agriculture uh, in Pennsylvania here, which is uh, 
which is headlining this, this treatment and the, um, the results on the spotted lanternfly. So if you live in Chester County and you have a spotted lanternfly issue, give Prudential Pest Solutions a call. I can come out, we can evaluate, and we can find the best option um, to, to protect your home and your property from this invasive species.